You know, we all love butterflies, don't we? They're beautiful, come in so many different colorful breeds. But did you know that some institutions say that the iconic monarch butterfly, which we have a lot of down here, is actually endangered? Well, thanks to the Cole Family Monarch Conservation Center, that's at the Greensboro Science Center, you can be a part of saving this beautiful creature. The staff also tagging the butterflies and releasing them all in the name of research. As you can see, we do have a lot of monarch butterflies flying around in this space. It's really special for people to get to experience monarchs. They're a large butterfly, they're iconic, they're brightly colored. They are just sort of magical in their own way. And being able to take care of them and see them through their different phases of life is incredibly gratifying. Monarchs that have multiple life cycles throughout the summer, and at the end of the summer, that final life cycle is the one that makes its migration to Mexico. We've had the pleasure of getting to see them through all those life stages and we're now at the point of saying goodbye so they can take that journey. So, and you saw that. That's the great thing about this exhibit. You can see all the different stages of their lives. It's an incredible live science exhibit that's perfect for families. So the monarch will actually hang on to the remains of their chrysalis and you'll see that their abdomen is huge and very swollen. And slowly the abdomen shrinks and as the abdomen is shrinking, all the fluid inside of them fills their wings and their wings slowly expand. Once they've expanded, we take them out into the garden and then they get to join the other butterflies that are out here and enjoy the nectar and each other's company. Wow, hmm. that's beautiful. So this, that. is, this is for conservation, right? So they're mm -hmm. trying to, um, and now some, some organizations, she said, do not recognize that the monarch is in danger, but one does. So it hadn't been official, like globally, mm -hmm. um, but there is a downtrend in the numbers. So this helps out, but the, tagging them, they said, if you see these um, anywhere, so if you mm -hmm. head south, you're in Florida, let's say, and you see one with one of those little tags on it, you can take a picture of it, zoom in, go oh. to that website and see where that butterfly My was released goodness. from. So people will see as they try to migrate to Mexico that they came from Greensboro. How cool is I that? I know, I love that. I think it's always great when you can get up close and personal. That makes for a great learning experience. But does this come with the regular admission? Because when I went to the Science Center, I didn't know that this was an option. So I will say this, if you want to do it, this is the end of the season. So it closes, okay. I think, on the 8th. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me on whether there's a charge. I don't think there is for that, but you go inside it. It's a netted enclosure with no natural predators, so they really do well, mm -hmm. and then they'll let them, they'll release them all. So. And I think a lot of that was closed during the pandemic, yes, it too. Was. So if you had just gone, you weren't able to go. So that's into probably it. why yep. I didn't see mm -hmm. it. Oh, awesome. Yep. You got five more days to check it out. <laughs>